Hi guys, welcome back to Fashion School with Nick Varios. In today's video, we're gonna take our dress form and we're gonna supersize it. One of the questions that I get asked the most right here on my YouTube channel is, Nick, I have a size four dress form, but I'm a size 10 and I'd love to make myself something. Or I get, I have a size four dress form, but I have a client who's a size eight. What can I do to my dress form? Well, all you'll need is shoulder pads, pins, and a measuring tape. So let's get started. So I have my size four dress form, see, size four, but our client is a size six or an eight. Uh, or my mom, she's not a four. Make something for her. What do we do? All right, you're gonna pad her. So I'm gonna show you how to pad her, how to make it bigger, and I'm gonna show you in the bust, in the waist, as well as the hips. Now what you will need is shoulder pads. Now I have different types of shoulder pads. I'm gonna show you, I have a small one, see? Then I have like a medium one, see? And then I have, I call this the Joan Collins Dynasty size. Look, hi, okay? Um, these are good for the booty, okay? So I'm gonna show you what to do. So let's start with the bust. You wanna make the bust bigger. Now let me tell you, this form right now is a 34 bust, 25 waist, and 35 hips. But our client or yourself is not, all right? You're a little bigger. So what do you do? You pad it. Let's start with the bust, okay? Now, what I like to do is take the smaller shoulder pads, start with the thinner section here, the heavier padded section right here at the apex, and you pin it, okay? So pin, pin, all right? So you do that at the top. Right, look at the side if you want a side view. Then also then do that for the bottom. Do you see that? So you're adding kind of a cup. Instantly by doing that, you've changed her from probably being a B or an A cup to a C, okay? So you do that and do that for both sides. So we're gonna do that for one bust as well as the other. Okay, right there. See, and that way you're balancing it out, all right? So right there, already. There we go. Now, you might also wanna add a pad on the side as well, right here, okay? And so then pin that as well. Do one for one side, and then do one for the other, right here, all right? And that's adding inches to the whole circumference of the bust. So, remember I said the bust was 34 on her because she's a size four? Let's see what it is now. Let's see. With all the padding, she's a 36. There we go. See, see how easy that is? Okay, now let's continue to the waist. All right, she's got a teeny tiny 25 inch waist, but we need to make it bigger. So what do we do? Now let's take the other shoulder pads First, you wanna start with the tummy right here. See the waist? Now, you want to use the heavier, the more padded section right at the natural waist and sit it right in the center with the thinner section up top, just like that. Pin her, okay? Like that and like that, okay? Now, take another shoulder pad and then follow along and have that shoulder pad marry. Again, the thicker section right here. Okay, you're adding a little bit of an abdomen right here. See, if you can look sideways, you've added a little bit. Now, that's not enough. You wanna balance it out. So what I like to do is also add on the side seam. You don't wanna go the thinner side here. You wanna go the thicker side right there at the waist, okay? Then pin her. Then pin and pin right there, see? And do it to the other side, okay? Like that. Look at that, see? Okay, so you're adding the pad and pin right there, all right? Now, if you want, you can also do it to the back, all right? So one final pad, let's just add one. Again, the thicker side goes towards the waist right there. And then pin her right there and there. All right, and let's see if we've transformed or added to our 25-inch waist. Get your measuring tape. All right, make sure I'm measuring correctly in the widest part. Let's see what I'm measuring. 28, 28. So with all that, we've added three inches. Keep adding, all right? So if you need to add more, keep adding, keep adding, but do it evenly. Do you see that? Do it evenly, okay. Finally, it's time for the booty. <laughs> so we wanna add hips, we wanna add more booty. So here's the form, 
The important part about this is you want to go down low enough. The widest part of your hips is usually about nine inches below the natural waist. All right, not seven, but around nine or ten. It's a little low hanging, okay? So you want to just sort of measure where that is. And I put a little tape right there to show you. You want to go right to the booty. Now I'm using the uh, sh uh, Joan Collins Dynasty shoulder pads, <laughs> the big ones, okay? Just to add a little more booty to it, okay? So I've added right there, all right? And do that for both sides, okay? Right there. Now, with the booty, you don't need to do corresponding underneath, okay? The main important part is you want to add inches to the booty and hip area, okay? So we've added on both sides, so it's even, but I really highly recommend that you also do it on the hip. So come down to about nine inches below and then add to the hips. Do you see that? It's right around the same level, okay? So we're gonna pin one right there Okay, and then pin one on the other side. Let's see. Okay. All right, and we've pinned that right there. Look at that. Okay, take a look. See? Now let's do the hips. Let's see. Now, originally, remember, the hips were 35. What are they now? Drum roll, please. <gasps> 39 inches. So we've added four inches to the hips. So basically, we've taken our size four form and made it an eight with just shoulder pads and pins. See how easy that is? Thanks for tuning in to Fashion School with Nick Varios. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And for more Nick tips and tricks, get my book, A Passion for Fashion. It's available on Amazon.com. And save your shoulder pads. <laughs>